Dancehall was sent into shock and mourning on October the 13th, 2012, when Wayne Hamilton, aka Captain Barkey, a veteran dancehall artist and a former JDF soldier, after he sat in a car in front of a motel with his lover, Tracy Bennett, where he was gunned down, along with his female companion, by the woman ex trained husband who fled the scene immediately. Yo, yo, one of the East Side Dance Hall, Lincoln Terrage Records. One of the Takai Town in Dance Hall, Lincoln Terrage Records. Yo, Antaraj, the meat you know it from man, you rock kidneys. Bless up, bless up, and welcome back to Antaraj Records. If you are new via here, please consider subscribing, turn on your post notification bell, so whenever I make a new upload, you can be the first to be notified. It's been 11 years since Captain Barkey's family and dance hall lost such a good person and he's truly missed. And I want to reflect on the great man's life and all this unfortunate incident rocked his family and also dance hall. Captain Barkey, who gained fame with a 1996 hit, Go Go Wine, was shot dead in the parking lot of a motel in Bronx, New York, on October the 13th, 2012. Police said the burly ex-soldier, whose real name was Wayne Hamilton, and 38-year-old Tracy Bennett were about to leave the motel in her white Toyota Camry when the gunman sprinted out of the darkness and shot them. The killer was waiting when the couple emerged from the Holiday Motel around 3.10 a.m. and he blasted more than two dozen bullets at the helpless door. The New York Daily News reported, witnesses and police are saying. According to the Daily News, Hamilton hops from the passenger seat and tried to escape the eel of bullets that cut him down just outside the motel office. The suspect then turned his pistol on the weeping Bennett as she stood next to her parked sedan, his motor still running, the newspaper report added. Both the Daily News and the New York Post reported witnesses are saying that Bennett pleaded for her life before she too was shot dead. I look out my window and I saw a lady standing there. The Daily News quoted Ricky Gugliata, who was staying in a nearby room with some friends celebrating a friend's birthday. She was begging him not to shoot her, but then he shot her twice and she went down. The New York Post reported 36-year-old Keisha Barrett as saying that she heard Bennett pleading for her life. According to the Post, sources said Bennett had a restraining order against a suspect believed to be her ex-lover. Witnesses said the shooter, a tall man in a brown shirt, jumped into a car with New York plates and sped off after committing the M-U-R-D-E-R-S. The Daily News story said that luggage was still in the couple's hotel room. They never checked out. After the incident, the police quickly named their suspect, who was Joseph Kernazan, a music promoter and Tracy Bennett estranged husband. Kernazan is said to be the father of two of Bennett's three children and it was said that she had also taken out a restraining order on him. Kernazan on more than one occasion warned Captain Barkey to end his relationship with Barrett and Captain Barkey's good friend dancehall artist Wickerman reportedly said he had urged Barkley over and over again to end the relationship with Bennett as Kernizan was a serious man. He had already broadside their car, but Barkley now listen to me. The man wanted to kill the woman for a long time, but he waited until he could get them together before he acted. People had said Barkley had taunted him in the song, Now nah Left Joe, a song which Barkley was talking about, Bun Mashup in life. She tell me she now nah left Joe. You mean squeeze it? She give me fun everywhere she go. Kurt and the suspect had reported they fled to Florida after the incident and the police was hot on his trail. He was cornered in a building in Miami after the police suspected he was trying to flee to his native country, Haiti, even though a stop order was placed on his name. After Kurtzan realized he was trapped and he couldn't escape, he reportedly took his own life. Captain Barkey was a veteran of the sound system circuit. He started DJing 
with two Spanish Town sound systems, Stereo One and People's Choice. He had a few minor hits before topping local charts years ago with Go Go Wine. After which he scored with Bon for Bon. He eventually partnered with fellow DJ Wickerman, real name David Taylor, and the duo put out a number of hits, recording for giant dancehall producers, King Jammies and Steely and Cleavy. In an interview, Wickerman said he and Barker performed at a series of festivals in Belgium and Germany in the previous year. He said at the end of the tour, Barker stopped in New York. He was a jovial guy. Barker made you laugh on an end given day, even when you are down, Wickerman told Jamaican Observer. <laughs> Ralston Barrett, who managed the door from 1999-2001, said Barky was a genuine and sincere guy. He was always jovial, very professional. Barky was always talking about his kids, Barrett said. Captain Barky was transported to the Ugly Park Seventh-day Adventist Church in a Cadillac Escalade under the meticulous eyes of saddened family members, many too sad to speak with media. The eulogy was read by Captain Barky's eldest daughter, Sashana Hamilton, and she described her father as a fun-loving person, a true talent, a brother, and a loyal friend. Captain Barker's musical brother and partner, Wickerman, gave a remembrance tribute to his dear friend, as well as Barker's brother, Otis Ellis. However, despite the many different persons that gave their recollections about the deceased entertainer, they all had one constant factor, and that Barky was a very jovial person by nature. Record group Lost performed a tribute dedicated to the life of the artist. However, foundation member Tony Curtis could not muster enough energy to sing a song. Back he was family. He was like a brother. It's always fun hanging out with him. So we all have to come here and show our respect. I could not perform because it was a very emotional thing and it was very hard to sing in this state because he was very close to me. It's just very hard and his family must just keep strong and we have to just do what we can to take care of his kids whenever we can assist. According to Snagapus, Captain Barkey was like family. Captain Barkey and us started the entertaining football thing that created unity. Being here now is a hurtful feeling but we have to ensure that his memory lives on. It hurts but it brings a joyful feeling because it has brought a lot of us from the entertainment industry together again. Kipris told the weekend star that Captain Barkey was a jovial entertainer and a friend to everybody in the music industry. We never see Bark have a bad day. Even if you have a bad day, them man that cheer you up and get you out of your bad mood. So we just there a show respect. Veteran master drummer Bongo Herman was out joining members of the family fraternity to celebrate the life of the slain soldier. Barky is a man where a one of the happiest person I ever see for a long time. 
We took a flight together and he controlled a seat on the entire plane was having a joy because of him. Barky is a clean hearted youth. It's like a brass. Him use rub off him art. It's just the world and some people just come to take out the talented people out of the earth. As the Imperial Majesty said, thousands of talented Africans die daily and those who survive don't get a chance to obtain the good things in life. Bark is one of them and I am very sad but condolences to his family and Rastafari are blessed. Captain Bark died leaving behind a wife, his mother and eight children. This was a very unfortunate loss for Captain Barkey's family and the dancehall fraternity. An artist, a father, and a man who's always keeping people together with his humor. He helps to unite the dancehall fraternity by engaging in different social activities like football and keeps fellow artists cheerful whenever they're having a bad day. Condolences goes to Captain Barkey's family and the reggae slash dancehall community. Viewers and subscribers, please leave your thoughts, your comment in the comment section so we can talk about it. We've come to the end of another video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel those who have done so as yet. Also, please turn on your post notification bells so whenever I make a new upload, you can be the first to be notified. Peace out, bless up, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one.